Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to figure out what the shutdown price is. Uh, so this question doesn't directly ask that, but that's the way that it's, uh, or that's what it's looking for. So we've got, uh, we've been given total, the total cost function. What this really is, we can plug in any quantity. It'll tell us how much it costs for that firm to produce that many units. So like if you were to just plug in five, it would be 188 plus 21 times five plus 40 times five squared. And that gives you the total cost facing that uh, firm. Uh, then the marginal cost, this is the additional cost. And it's also the partial derivative with respect to Q of this. So if you didn't have this, uh, you could just take that partial derivative uh, and you'll get the marginal cost. Okay, so uh, the lowest price the firm will still be operating uh, is going to be at the shutdown point. Now the shutdown point occurs at the quantity where average variable cost equals your marginal cost, which incidentally will also be the mid minimum of that average variable cost. So we've got marginal cost. We just need to get the average variable cost. So let's take apart the total cost function. We've got 188. I'm just going to rewrite it right here. 21Q plus 40Q squared. In the short run, uh, this part won't change. So that's the fixed cost. So we can actually drop that part off. And then this part over here, that's the variable cost. So the average variable cost will be just to calculate this part of the function and divide it by Q. And that gives us our average variable cost. So let's go ahead and do that. So variable cost is 21Q plus 40Q squared. The average variable cost, I'm just going to divide through by Q. So 21 Q divided by Q is 21. 40 Q squared divided by Q is 40 Q. That's our average variable cost. Take that over here and I'm going to say the average variable cost equal marginal cost. So it's 21 plus 40 Q equals 21 plus 80 Q. And now if I solve for Q, this gives us the quantity where this happens, okay? So once I find that quantity, whatever the price is at that quantity, that's the answer, okay? That's the minimum shutdown price. So 21 minus 21 turns into zero, 40 minus 80 turns into 40 Q, um, and then Q, divide both sides by 40, Q is zero. So this actually happens at, uh, a zero quantity. So we can just take zero quantity, put it into either uh, function. If you put it into this function, it would be 80 times zero would be 21. If you put it into this function, 40 times zero is 21. So the answer is 21. Okay, that's the lowest price. Any price below that and the firm will shut down and wait for better market conditions. By the way, um, this, this short run language, whenever we say short run, um, we're talking about producing versus shutting down. And in the long run, you'll see the vocabulary will change to exit versus enter. Okay, so we're kind of specific about that in, in microeconomics. So uh, just be aware of that's how to answer that question.